Hello guys, welcome to my home bar. My name is Lele and today we're going to do some training. So, we're going to talk about how citrusy cuts are made and how to use them. So we're going to talk about lemon today. Okay, so now we're going to talk about lemon, how to cut, how to peel and how to use for a garnish. So, you got two lemons over here. You can see this one, nice, smooth, beautiful, easy to use. I can see this one. This one is hard skin, really, really trill. So let's make a garnish with them. With the trill one, we're gonna cut it. It's the best one for garnishes like gin and tonic or high ball drinks. So this way. Okay, have it in two. And then you have it in two again. So from half lemon, gonna make four pieces. For one lemon, gonna make eight pieces. So here we go, if you've seen. I'm gonna cut it this way. Okay, so you can see, beautiful head on the top, straight. But if you wanna fix it, make it perfect, you can do it by cutting the sides. Okay, now, boom. You see, boom, nice cut, hardcore. Now I'm gonna show you how to peel. So for the peel, as we said, we're gonna use this one. This is nice, smooth skin. Always on the neck of the fruits. Go all the way down. Well, we got nice and beautiful lemon peel on the table. To so cut it this way. Okay. From here, just go this way. Cut it on the side. A nice, beautiful lemon peel for a nice canola, nice coupette. I'm gonna show you another technique that you can use. I prefer this one, but you can do a lot more with the peels. So I'm gonna show you. The difference between this lemon and the fresh one that I show you, this one is an older lemon, so you can see it's not fresh as that one. It's a little bit yellow, dark yellow. This one, you can see it's young lemon peel alive. <laughs> okay. So to cut this lemon peel, this way. Okay. You can do it a little bit large if you want it. Do this side. Just wrap it. Turn it around this way. Here we go. This is a beautiful garnish for a drink. So go one and two. And you got some peels over here. Okay guys, so after the lemon, now we're gonna do something with the lime. So it's gonna be the same concept. Three lime and normal fine lime. So I'm gonna show you how to cut it and how to peel it. Okay guys, so. Now we're gonna talk about the lime, how to cut it. So you've got two different types of lime. You can see this one, a nice smooth skin. And this one, because it's like really, really trill or hard skin. So this one's for the cut, and this one is for the peel. We're gonna start with the cut of a lime. So most bartenders have their way cutting lime, but this one I prefer, and I think has consistency, and make the lime for the perfect garnish. So, this way, cut it half. From this way, you go from this half, one, and from this half, two. So this way, you have consistency all the time. Uh, let me show you the technique that most of people use. You can choose which one you prefer, of course. So, one, and two. Got this one as well. Okay. I prefer this one because it leaves a little bit of the white bit and seems like really perfect as you can see. And in this way you lose it a little bit. It always depends on the lime as well. So, Okay, so I'm going to show you how to peel. I'm going to use this lime. A peeler, you got a little top over here on the neck and you go down to all around it because with lime it's really difficult to peel it. So as you can see, you can go all around. Okay, so this is a lime peel. And there is two different ways to do a garnish with a lime. You can do it either this way. Okay. So this is how I, lo I love my garnishes. Okay. 
How can you do it in another way? I'm gonna show you right now. You have the line still from the neck. Go all the way down. Okay. And from here, I'm gonna show you a different way to cut the line. So you got it this way. Okay. This is another way to cut the line. Nice, perfect at home. So just squeeze it this way. Put it on top of a garnish for cocktail. Beautiful, easy. This one I prefer is for like a Nicanora glass or coupette. They're like sitting in the bottom of the head, heading out. So these are two different techniques to do the line. Cut. This way, a classic. So these are three basic styles. So if you wanna learn how to do some more garnishes, write down in the comment. I'm gonna show you some more. Thank you. Bye.